Hello and welcome to another Kamen Rider X8 toy review. This time we are checking out the DX Dangerous Zombie Gachetto and Buxton Buckle. So for those of you guys who are not familiar with what this toy is, well this is essentially a box of items that kind of completes what we got with the DX Gachcon Buck Visor. Alright, I do have my Buck Visor with me, which is right here. As you guys can see, let me just turn it on real quick. Alright, I always love that voice, okay? So, I'll be using this in this review later on, but I'll set off to the side first. And we'll focus on what we got in the box. So, right here we have a, the Radical right Shadow, as well as parts to form a kind of a belt that wraps around your waist, so you can attach the buck visor to you uh, as a henshin belt. I'll get through that later on. Uh, let me just focus on the Radical right Shadow first, because reasons. So, here we have the DX Dangerous Zombie Gachetto. Now, this is very similar to other Rider Gachetto we have before. Um, let me just bring in the Boxo bike, so you guys can see. Very similar in terms of uh, molding. It's just differences in the color of the body, the seals, and interestingly enough, the processing on top is majorly different. Let me just show it real quick. Uh, you guys can see right here, this one is um, diagonal rather than a standard um, Rider Gachetto. And that's because of how the Gacha Compact Visor requires you to attach your um, Rider Gachetto in, uh, at an angle. So that's just to complete the image, I guess. So um, this is getting real close for you guys to see. This is the design of the Dangerous Zombie Gachetto. Very nice um, image we have right here. There is a game character, as well as um, the logo that states Dangerous Zombie. I do like that very much. And at the side, again, we have the title of the game, just as all of the Radical Shadow. So when you plug this into like the gamer driver and all, you can still see what this looks like, okay? So let me just get through the electronics real quick. Alright, um, as with all of your standard Radical Shadow, all of your sounds on its own are supposed to be unlocked through the button at the side, this black button right here. The other two buttons on the other side are for interaction with your DX toys, so we won't be going through those uh, as it is, we'll be going through those when we plug it into the DX toys. Alright, so for activation, push the button once. So we get the intro of the title of the game as well as a short music clip. Very nice uh, guitar rift right there. Second press. Alright, let's press again. And we cycle back to the start. Alright, so it works on a two press cycling system similar to all of your other previous Radical Shadow. And um, nothing much new right there, but as you all know, I like to turn off the lights to see how this looks in the dark. So let's get lights off. Alright, so with lights off, let's get a look at the LEDs in the dark. You can see it's really, really bright. And now if I flip it around, you guys can see the design that will be reflected uh, in the gamer driver as well as visible through the bug visor. So a very nice image of a zombie right there. 
All right, and yep. So let's get the lights back on and we'll go through the interaction it has with the DX toys. All right, so we have the lights back on. And before I do any of the DX toy interaction stuff, let's bring in the box to buckle first. So here's the main body for the box to buckle. It's a piece of black plastic. Um, it's quite glossy, which is nice. And we have a lot of molded detail onto it. And these are obviously where the buck visor were attached to. And on the back also, we have um, nice detail molded into it. And we have this little hoops right here, so you can slot through uh, the belt pieces. I do believe you can actually just slot in any belt if you wanted to, but we do have belt strap pieces included. So let me just bring them in. Um, these are the belt strap pieces, kind of different from what we usually get with our Kamen Rider series. This is more like what we get with the Super Sentai um, roleplay toys. So let me just go through how we set this up, all right? So it comes like that, we have to separate them first. So you just pluck them apart, like so, and then like this. Okay, separate it out. So it comes with four parts, uh, two straps and two fasteners. So find the left strap first. I believe this is the left strap. Yes, it does the L right there. So this is the left strap. Let me see. Yeah, it does the L right here. Okay, so we just take the left strap and we'll just strap it in, like so. Okay, so that's the left side. Now we get the other side. This is the right side. As you guys can see, it states R for right. And before we put this in, set up a fastener first. So let's slot it right through. And we'll slot it in from the other side. Like so, all right. Now we need to do a bit of fiddling to get this together, uh, but it should line up pretty well, and then you can snap it in place like that. And now we have a complete belt, kind of. Now we grab the other fastener, slot it into the other side, the left side here, like so, and we can bring the belt together, and it should pack in nicely. Now we can use the fasteners to hold the excess, like this. And we have a belt. So this is what's going to be put around your waist to hold the buck visor to your body. So speaking of the buck visor, let me just bring it in. Right here is our buck visor. I just, I just hit the, the box to buckle. All right, let's move it to the side. So we just detach the handle piece. Like so. We don't need it for now because we'll be attaching it to the Buckster buckle and this will complete the buckle driver. Now if I plug this into it, uh, it will start the standby sound and uh, it will just keep going on and on so it'll be very loud, very noisy. So let me just explain what I'm going to do first. So essentially there are two um, tabs right here, uh, two slots for your packs on the Buckster buckle and you have to line them up to clip it on. And after that, we'll insert the Rider Gachetto, that being the Dangerous Zombie. And we'll do the transformation that will turn us into Zombie Gamer level 10. So let's just do that right now. Okay, plug it in. Now slot it in here. And that was your zombie gamer level 10 transformation. So very very noisy but it does come up quite rewarding. If you wanted to, you can push the red button again and you can get the sound effect all over again. So you will see that there are two different LEDs lighting up in there and that's because the um, 
Gashkon Park Pfizer is contributing half the sounds and the Rider Gashetto for the Dangerous Zombie is contributing the other half of the sound effects. So if I remove this thing, right, you can still hear half of the sound effects and see half the LEDs. So very interesting right there. So that means that you can actually combine this with other existing Rider Gashato. Let me just bring in one of them. Uh, here we have the Giddy Giddy Chambara. So you can plug this in as well. Alright, and let's hear how it sounds like. So it does actually activate the level 3 sound effect for your Rider Gashato and it mixes it with the sound effects from the Gashacon Bug Visor. So very cool right there. Alright, so let's plug that up first. Alright. Alright, so the Bug Visor on its own also does have other uh, sound effects. And those are the kind of similar to what we have with the Kimiwaza sound effects for your Rider Gashato with the Kimiwaza slot holder and with your Gashikon weapons. Uh, this does have finishing attacks as well, and that is unlocked through the A and B buttons that we have on the back visor. So you can choose one of the two. So let's just. So something like that. So essentially you just push the buttons, uh, you can actually just push one of them and you'll go on a standby sound effect and then you pick one or two buttons for each of the finishers. Unfortunately this doesn't actually activate your Rider Gashato, so let's just plug this back in to demonstrate. And if we do one of the attacks, let's do this again. Um, there's no interaction with the Rider Gashato, which is a real shame, but at least we do have finishing attacks built into the belt itself. Uh, now we can call this a belt. Very cool, right? Um, so we have the critical dead and the critical end. I've shown this off in the bug visor review as well, but I'm just showing it off again. So yeah, I think that's all we have to show for the bug visor. So to remove this, um, similar to how you remove the handle from the bug visor, we have our buttons at the bottom that will detach it, and we have to push on both of them together, and it will detach the buckster buckle like this and so it's detached all right all right when you look at the dangerous zombie crescetto you see that it does actually state gd up on top right there so that's the gamer driver logo so this should function with the gamer driver and uh, just want to point out real quick uh, let me just bring the packaging to show off something Right, here's the packaging, so you guys can see. And at the bottom, it does state um, something different. It, it does have the logo, but it's DD, not GD. So that's actually probably a reference to this uh, combined form of the Gashikon Bug Visor and the Buckster Buckle being called the Buggle Driver. So it's interesting that the combined form is called the Buggle Driver, yet the Radiga Shadow does state GD right there. So I believe it's a sign for us to try this out with the Gamer Driver. So let's bring in the Gamer Driver real quick. Alright, here's the Gamer Driver. And we can plug it in to the first slot to see what happens.
So interestingly enough, it does have the level 1 transformation sound effect as well as LEDs. So unlike the previously released um, Dragonite Hunter Z Gachetto, this one does actually have level 1 transformation. So it should also have a so-called level 2 transformation. I'm not sure if that really counts since this is a level 10 Gachetto, but yep, let's try and see. So yes, indeed it does have the level up sound effect, which is very nice. You can do that one more time. All right, and that is the level up sound effect. So what happens if we plug it into the second slot? Plug it in. Well, it does acknowledge it. Let's see if it has a level up sound effect. Yes, it does. So that's really interesting. It is a level up sound effect, but it's essentially the song for the level 10 transformation. And so we do get the level 10 transformation sound effect with the gamer driver as well. So that's very nice. All right. So I guess that's all we have to show with the gamer driver. All right. So next up, we have the Kimi was a slot holder because this is a radical shadow. I can just show off how this works in the slot holder. All right, so push the button once to put it on standby again for the final attack. So we got a critical hit right there, that's a randomly appearing sound, and it is within this radical shadow as well. And if you wanted to, you can do it all over again. Alright, so let's get it out. Alright, next up we'll bring in the Gashacon Weapon Series item. This is the Gashacon Sparrow um, for reasons. Now let's just turn it on. Alright, it's on now. So we we'll set it to um, arrow mode. And then we'll plug in the Radical Shuttle down here. So it does have the critical finish sound effect and if you wanted to hear it again you could just pull the trigger one more time. Oh I seem to be getting a lot of critical hits this way. Alright, and I think that's everything I have to show about these toys, so let's just bring them back into frame. Alright, something like this. Um, let me just see if you can stand here. Can you stand? Alright, please stand. Please stand up. Yeah, it's not a real slim shady, you see. Alright, um, technical difficulties. Hey! All right, there we go. And we'll bring this right here. All right, so I think that's a wrap for everything I have to show. So um, in general, I think this toy is amazing because it completes what the Gashacon Bug Pfizer left unfinished. So if you purchase that back then, you can get this set to complete what you already have. 
uh, if you did not purchase it but you are interested in the level 10 transformation and all that kind of stuff you can purchase it together there's a set released by bandai that does have everything from this set and everything from the gacha compact visor packaged together in one box and it's called the dx bubble driver so very very nice very simple just pick it up as a set if you're on the fence about whether you want to pick this up i think it's a really solid set um the radical shadow is as what you expect a radical shadow to be the quality is uh, as always and the buckle driver is um, a very fun toy to have so the buckle buckle is important if you want to complete your Gashcon Buck Pfizer play value if you're only collecting stuff for the heroic riders however uh, this is an easy pass I guess because it's a standalone thing that doesn't really interact with the gamer driver per se you don't actually need it uh, so it's up to you whether or not you want to invest in this toy. It's affordable and I think why not just pick it up if you are interested in the X8 series in any form. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next game. Hey everyone, thanks again for checking out my review of the DX Dangerous Zombie, Gashato and Buckster Buckle. If you have not, you can check out my review of the DX Gashacon Buck Visor because that completes the toy. And you can see the original features that were not shown in this video.